In New York City, high-strung stockbroker Joy McNally is dumped by her fiancé on his surprise birthday. She throws for him in front of all their friends, while at the same time, easygoing carpenter Jack Fuller is fired by his father Jack. Both become emotionally distraught and take a trip to Las Vegas. They meet by chance when they are given the same hotel room because of a computer error. After clearing the misunderstanding and receiving upgraded rooms and coupons from various clubs, they party and drink together. Joy and Jack end up getting married. The following day, they realize it was a mistake and divorce. Before they do so, Jack uses a quarter Joy gives him in a slot machine. He hits a $3 million jackpot, and Joy reminds Jack they are married hence she is entitled to half the money. The couple returns to New York, where they attempt to divorce. Their judge declares that the couple cannot divorce until they try to coexist for six months while attending weekly sessions with a marriage counselor. If they work at the marriage but still want a divorce after six months, each will be permitted to keep half the winnings. If either party does not cooperate, the money will be tied up in litigation by the judge. The newlyweds devise more cunning schemes to undermine each other, such as Jack telling Joy that their counseling session is cancelled to prove she's not committed. Joy invites the girls to their apartment to try to get Jack to cheat on her. Jack gives Joy's ex-fiancé Mason her engagement ring back without Joy knowing. At Joy's job retreat, Jack and Joy ironically develop an unexpected sexual attraction to one another. They soon realize that being with each other has brought out the best in both of them. After they return from the retreat, it's time for the judge to decide what happens to the money. On her way to the hearing, Joy sees her ex-fiancé Mason, who tells her he wants her back. He gives her back the engagement ring and tells her that she is good enough for him. Joy realizes that Jack set her up to get back with him, cheating on him and letting Jack keep the money. Joy walks away from Mason and goes to the hearing. At the hearing, their marriage counselor testified that the couple truly tried to work on their marriage. The judge decides they each get $1.5 million, taking away taxes, the bills Joy had run up, and the costs of Jack's new woodworking business. Joy tells the judge she doesn't want any money and gives the engagement ring to Jack, telling him she doesn't want anything from him. Jack realizes she knows that he talked to Mason. Joy gets the promotion but tells her boss she would rather be happy doing nothing, than doing something she hates and being miserable. The next scene is of Jack talking to his parents and them telling him that it looked like he and Joy were in love. Realizing his mistake, he goes to her friend Tipper to find out where she is. Tipper tells Jack that she quit her job, and he suspects she has gone to Fire Island, New York, the only place that makes her truly happy. Jack asks her to be his wife, and she says yes. As the two embraces, Joy says that she has quit her job and has no idea what she will do, and Jack reminds her that they have a lot of money between them. Joy states that they hit the jackpot, to which Jack replies that he certainly did, referring both to the money and Joy. The credits show a clip of what happened between Tipper and Hater when Jack and Joy married. It also indicates Stripper and Hater subsequently enacting a plan of revenge on Mason, devised by Tipper earlier in the film. In a post credits scene, Dave is telling Hater about a party that evening. Still, Hater no longer wants to associate with Dave, citing Jack as the glue that held the two of them together as friends. With that, Hater leaves. The movie ends with Dave asking a random guy on the street if he wants to party.